it's cauliflower and guess what we're doing today once again yes it's another haul video for you guys um, I have a problem and uh, yeah so we're gonna just deal with it today I have a couple of things from Marshall's from elf from Beautylish and of course heart tried and true Ulta so this is a collective haul. I've been doing this for this, the last few months. It's kind of been spaced out, so it's not like I've been doing it like one after the other after the other. It's just some things that I have been purchasing over the last few months and I've kept kind of like in a small little separate section of my room to try, but usually what happens is I try it, I forget about it, and then I don't have the video. So. Without further ado, we're gonna go into all the wonderful things that I got. And of course, the other reason I do these purchases is because I wanna let you guys know that there's some really good deals out there. Let's start with Marshalls. Now, Marshalls, I had no expectations. I just walked around just for the sake of walking around. And I came across some really great deals, starting with this right here. This, as you know, is Anastasia. This is her liquid lipsticks. And we have three here that I was so excited when I saw this. And you're gonna see what's more exciting when I can get these out of the package. So three separate little mini lipsticks right here. We have beautiful, beautiful colors. I have never tried, actually, that's, not, that's a lie. I have tried Anastasia lipsticks, just never owned any. And um, this was a perfect way to finally get a hold of them. So are you ready, guys, for the big reveal? Look at how much. $2. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. And I was just so ecstatic. I actually texted my friend immediately. And I was like, oh, my God, I just got Anastasia for $2. And it didn't stop there. There's one more thing I did pick up from Anastasia. This is a single eyeshadow, which you guys know if you get this at Ulta, they're always like four for 40. Well, at Marshall's, they are $3.99. And I got a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is the color. Bear with me because I'm blind. You guys know this. This is the color Mermaid. That's the color right there. Look at how beautiful this is, if you guys can see. Look at how gorgeous that is. I'm just going to swatch it really quickly. Here we go. The, the Jeffree Star way of doing things. Look at that. Is that not beautiful with that duochrome? Oh, it is just mind-blowing how pretty that is. But normally these are $10 at Ulta and it was $3.99. So if you have a Marshalls near you, make sure you check it out because there's a lot of uh, really good high-end deals. Okay, moving on. And it's a good thing I picked, picked these up because I'm going to use them now. These are the just Micellar Water Makeup Cleansing Wipes by Global Beauty and Care. These are really something else. I've been using these for the last uh, week or so. They're very, very thick. And of course, they remove everything. The only drawback to these, and I'll tell you how I fixed it, was the smell. Because the smell, it was very medicinal for something that's just micellar water and it's very plain. So I dropped a few droplets of rose water, uh, just rose essence, like an oil in there, just to kind of like, you know, make the smell better. And it fixed the problem. But these were only $1.99. I mean, come on. Come on, for $1.99, I can't complain. All right, next thing I picked up was my favorite lashes these days. This is from Ilor. These are number 115 in lengthening. And again, see that right there, that lovely red sticker that says $2. So that was awesome as well. These, like I said, I love, love, love. I am so much loving the Ilor more than Ardell, more than Kiss. Yeah, it's just been my favorite. So another great thing. And the last thing I got at Marshall's was just a natural deodorant. This is from Jason. I'm on the lookout once again for natural deodorants. I don't know what it is with me, but um, every so often I'm like, I got to stop using the ones that got mercury in them. They're not good for you. So I get a conscience and then I end up trying a, a new natural deodorant. Jason is not new, not in, in technical forms, but to me it is. But I picked up this one in Nourishing Apricot and oh my God, the smell. The smell on this is just so nice. I hope that it carries over and that you still smell like that because the problem with natural deodorants is that it kind of makes you stink, <laughs> which is kind of defeating the purpose. This was $3.99 at Marshall's. So there was that, end of that. 
Let's move on to, let's just get it out of the way. Let's just get Ulta out of the way because I don't know, I just can't work, walk into my local Ulta store and I'm buying something. All right, but this time I didn't really go any, uh, I didn't get any makeup. Actually, I picked up a lot of just other stuff. So the first thing I picked up because I've been eyeing these for weeks, for weeks, are these two from Hask. This is a Pinot Grigio inspired and a Brut Rosé inspired hair masks. So I've been really curious about this. I haven't really seen any reviews. I've asked a few people here and there um, on my, uh, you know, like feeds and stuff like that in my comment section, but I really don't know too much about these. So this one says shine and smooth deep conditioner infused with wine, lemon, and pear extracts. And this one is infused with wine, rose, and strawberry extracts. So they have two separate um, things that they do. Well, two separate, not things. They have two separate conditions. So this one actually is good for, I love that it says non-tipsy formula. This one is actually good for color protecting and hydrating. This one is good for shine and smooth. And they were about, I think these were about two or three bucks a piece. So we'll see how these are. I'll get back to you in another video about that. Okay, next thing I picked up is from Garnier. Now, originally what I wanted was the Garnier hair masks. I saw these, I thought they were what I wanted, but they ended up not being, but then they ended up being something else I wanted. Does that make sense? It's gonna make sense in about a minute. All right, so these are the Garnier Skin Active Hydrating and Soothing. These are masks. These are face masks, or they can be just moisturizers. To me, this is a big ass moisturizer. Um, you get a good size jar. These are 6.75 ounce if you're gonna use this as a moisturizer, but you can use it um, for day, night, and as a mask. You can use it as a, a day moisturizer, a night moisturizer, or you can leave it on as a mask. And of course, trying to open them is impossible. This one I'll open because I've used it already. This is the rose water one. Really, really thick and creamy and blends in really nicely has a nice, pleasant, light scent, does not make your face greasy, which is awesome. Um, so I've been just trying this here and there. I don't know how they're both gonna fare, but they were buy one, get one at uh, Ulta, so I did that. And once I did, they handed me this little guy right here. They, the Garnier Micellar Foaming Gel Cleanser was like a freebie when you buy these. So that was awesome. And then I just picked up some Two other uh, products for makeup removal. This is, of course, my favorite, NYX Be Gone. And because they're buck forty-nine, I just keep on purchasing them because they're that good. And then I also got this, the Olay uh, Luminous Micellar Water and Cleansing. They were about, this was about $3.50. I was shocked. So, you know what? It's always a good idea sometimes to just shop Ulta and kind of look for those little red signs. You might come across a deal or two, and that's what I did. So, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, excusing my purchasing for bargain hunting. Okay, next is e.l.f. I have a little bit of an e.l.f. haul here. A couple of the items I'm actually wearing on my face today from e.l.f. I'm very, very excited. It's been a long time since I've done an e.l.f. haul. Um, so let's get to the first thing here. I got the Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This one is in Jewel Pop. Um, this one, I have never tried. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of really great things about these eyeshadows, but I've never tried it for myself. And as you can see, I'm struggling with the box, even though I've opened it already. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is an amazing, amazing looking palette. I mean, the colors in this are just extraordinary. And I'm wearing them on my eyes today, as you can see. I've got this, you know, kind of like multicolored. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not showing you my boob. I'm showing you my shirt that I tried to match it to my shirt. So I messed around with a bunch of these colors right here. I actually did um, this, this in my crease. And then I just mixed in the, these four over here and then I, a little pop of the orange. Yeah, I kind of mixed everything. I just wanted to be one of those kids today. Just wanted to mix all my eyeshadows. But these are really, really good. This is a $10 palette, which is a little bit up there for e.l.f., but it is so worth it. I love how sleek it is. I love that you can just take this on the go with you. And um, for mattes, they're really, really good. So got that. The next thing I picked up, this is new to e.l.f., this is Elf uh, and Christian Siriano. They, they collab together. Uh, if you don't know who Christian Siriano is, he is a actual model 
or no, he's not a model. He's a designer. He is a designer. Um, and I think he was on Project Runway and one Project Runway. So take a look at this. This is stunning. The packaging on this is absolutely, completely stunning on this. And the color is in fuchsia. And I am gonna tell you guys something. I am not one for a color like this. I think for me, it kind of just washes me out, but this is what it is on my lips right now. It's a matte formula, so it does dry down really, really quickly, but it's a comfortable matte formula. And I have a little bit of uh, diamond gloss on top of it that I got from Primark. So it's been really, really just comfortable, and I love this color. It is just so striking, so beautiful and my lips look fuller than they normally do. I don't know if that has anything to do with this, but um, this is such a find. I think this, this was about $6 on the e.l.f. website, so if you can pick it up, definitely I suggest picking it up. Okay, another new product from e.l.f. I am also wearing is the Primer Infused Blush, and I got mine in Always Cheeky. Wearing that today, as you can see, um, I really love this. This went on so smooth, and I just love the subtlety which you can build up. I'm not very certain on what primer infused means. I don't know if that means there's a primer inside here. Um, I don't know if that's necessary um, as far as like a selling or a tactic to sell, but it says this long ring blush is infused with lock-on primer powder to ensure a full day of perfectly placed blush. So. I don't know all about that. I just love the color. This was about $6 again on the e.l.f. website. And um, they have two other colors. This was actually the brightest of the two. They have a nude one and then they have like a rose one, which is a little bit darker. If you have like a tan or a darker skin tone, it would be a beautiful, beautiful blush for you. Okay, and the last thing that I picked up, um, and I also got some freebies that went along with this, is the e.l.f. Solid Sponge Cleanser. Um, I had the uh, Beauty Blender one, the smaller one that I got as a perk. I think it was through Ulta or Sephora, not really uh, remembering, but it was decent, but it's come down to the point where it's almost done. So I wanted to see what e.l.f. offered. This looks like it's a lot bigger. I'll give it that much. And uh, let's just see what it looks like. Yep, mm -hmm. the struggle is real with the packaging. Okay, this is what it looks like, and it is a solid. Oh, look at that, wow. That's twice the size of the Beauty Blender one that I have, and that one, normally, I think the regular smaller travel size is like eight to $10 for Beauty Blender, and this was four. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me which one you would go with. Okay, the next thing that came from e.l.f. are these, these not highlights, these three included products, which they called them date night products. So yes, there is a highlighter in here. This is their baked highlighter in pink diamonds. I think I have this one already. I might have this one already. And if I do, it's going to get thrown in a giveaway. Yes, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway very soon, which is another reason I'm doing all of these purchases. So we got that. We got this e.l.f. Day to Night Lipstick Duo. This is in I Love Pinks. So it looks like we've got a nice little rose pink and a magenta pink right there. So another duo uh, that I have not tried from e.l.f. I've tried their duo eye pencils, their eyeshadow pencils, and I really love those. So we'll see how that goes. And then the Mineral Infused Black uh, mascara, which also will probably get thrown into a giveaway. All right, so that does it for e.l.f. Next thing is Beautylish. I wanted to hold off on the Beautylish one because um, this is actually just a collective one brand skincare that I bought a bunch of these actually between Beautylush and Shop Hush. But I'm gonna show you the products that I got and, I'll, and of course you'll probably figure out that it's from The Ordinary. Um, I have been trying some of their products over the last few weeks. You guys will remember in my last haul from Shop Hush, I got a couple of their serums and one mask. Now I got, I think, the rest of what I wanted, and I think I'm done as far as shopping for The Ordinary. But I'm going to show you what I have in front of me and also um, one other product that I picked up that is not The Ordinary. That is The Ordinary's Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I've heard so many great things about this solution from so many different people, and I wanted to give it a try myself. This has a pH of 3.6 solution um, with all these uh, fancy words on here I can't pronounce. I have been using a little of it 
here and there. I really do like it, but again, with skincare, you really can't make that decision until you use it for a long time. So I will let you guys know how I feel about that. Next thing I got, actually I got two of these, are the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension 23%, and I also got the 30%. I don't know really what the difference is, so I got them both. Um, the great thing about when you order from Beautylish is that they send you an entire uh, little bit of like information cards and then they send you like stickers that you can put on each of your products so you know when to use them, how often to use them, what not to use them with. So I thought that was really useful of them to do that. So I marked this one as a nighttime only and of course you can't wear this with any ni niacinamide. I sound like Lucy, <laughs> Vitamita Vegemin. Um, this is the Vitamin C Suspension 23%, a water-free, silicone-free, stable suspension. I love Vitamin C. I use it in my all of my serums. Um, I have no uh, you know, sensitivity to Vitamin C. I do have a slight tingling when I use these products, but that's to be expected. But I haven't had any redness or any breakouts or anything of that nature, so it's working with my skin so far. But I will let you guys know how that works in the future. So I got two actual boxes of this, one of them going in a giveaway. Okay, the next thing I picked up, this also I think I got a suggestion from Nick Snyder. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a shout out because he did mention these products. He's been doing a lot of his uh, hangouts where he shows you some of the skin things that he uses and I got this idea from him. This is the Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG. Again, I marked this as a day and night that you can use this. All of the Ordinary's packaging pretty much looks the same. It's all no frills packaging, which is why it's so cheap, which I really do appreciate. I have been trying this out as well, and so far so good. Can't say you know fully how I feel about it, but so far so good. There's no reactions, nothing that's making me look like a, a clown or making me look like you know just somebody that's got a horrible rash. So it's been good so far. All right, the next thing I picked up, this actually I got from Shop Hush. This is the buffet. This is the actual buffet, which has got a conclude. Don't you love that word? A conclude of different, uh, the ordinary um, serums. So it combines a lot of the, uh, we've got the hydroluronic, we've got a bunch of them that I can't even pronounce. But it's all in here, so it's good if I fig forget one day to use three of the ones or four of the ones that I'm using, I can just use this instead and then my moisturizer and I'm good to go. So this was good. I got this off of Shop Hush. Shop Hush I think is, um, I think it's about $14 on Shop Hush, which is a decent price. And the last thing I picked up, and I am gonna do a review on this because I'll tell you something I was surprised. This is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation, high coverage. I got mine in 1.2Y light. I'm gonna say this right now. I've heard bad things about this, I've heard decent things about this, and then I tried it. And I'm gonna tell you something, this is one of the best foundations I have found in a long, long time, but again, I'm just starting to use it in the last two weeks. So I will get back to you in a video about how I feel about this, but honestly, so far so good, I'm loving it. Okay, and the last thing that I got from Beautylish and the last thing for this entire Ulta haul is something that I don't do. I don't splurge on higher end. And you know what? I'm like, you know what, Dawn? At some point in your life, you're just gonna have to take a, take a, take a dive, take a chance. So I've been wanting this product for quite some time. This is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is the uh, Seamless Finish Foundation Stick, which I've heard so many YouTubers knock and I'm wearing it today. I am wearing it today. Now, as far as a stick foundation, it is a little bit something new for me to get used to. I'm us usually used to liquid foundations, but so far, so good. I do like it. The color is a little light for me. I think I went a little too light with this one, but it's okay. I can usually darken it up with my bronzers and all that kind of stuff. So yes, this was a little bit expensive. It was $42 on Beautylish, something I don't normally do. I'm kind of getting, my, <gasps> as I say this, but I did it. All right, guys, that is it. There's a lot of stuff here that I'm that I'm playing with, have been playing with. I'm very excited to give you guys a review update on all of these products. I know it's a lot to take in. My hauls usually are, but you know what? It's always a lot of fun. And as I said before, a giveaway will be coming up soon on my channel, probably in the next few weeks or so, so stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video.